Hi Aries, welcome to your reading for Friday the 15th. I hope you're doing amazing. So let's see what the messages from Spirit are coming in for you. Thank you so much for being here. Energies and messages, angels and spirit guides for the sign of Aries. First house of the zodiac. What do they need to see or acknowledge? Messages for Aries. Messages for Aries. Okay. Bottom of the deck is a seven of wands, standing up for what you believe in, being very courageous, even if other people don't agree with you. It's your inner fire, your inner passion. The sun, happiness, joy, and great success. Optimism, growth. Major arcana for great success, happiness. Could be the light shining on something too, something being illuminated. Messages for Aries. Knight of Wands. The crossing energy, there's a movement, a fire in motion. Um, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be coming in towards you. Could be a Leo. We have a Six of Cups. Could be a person from your past. This is past energy of when you were younger. Yeah, there's definitely Leo energy here. King of Wands is coming in. Masculine fire. Somebody who goes after what they want. They feel passionate about something. They have their inner fire and they go after it. Two of Coins in the past. Balancing, trying to maneuver, trying to find balance. But then we have a Ten of Pentacles. Money, wealth, abundance, financial security, long-term commitments. It's coming in for Aries. Wow, a Nine of Cups. A wish coming true and a wish fulfilled for you here. Some kind of news that affects your emotions and makes you want to celebrate. Could be about money. Okay, somebody in your environment. Remember, the sun is the major arcana here. The rest are just minor arcana. It has to do with the things that are real for you, but the major message is here the sun. Four of Swords. Somebody around you wants to rest. They want to withdraw. They could be tired. Somebody's not talking. You're wanting to, I feel like, put your emotions elsewhere. You're wanting to seek something else. And that could be a job too. But you get the wish, Nine of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is the outcome. Some, you get an offer or an invitation that has to do with emotions or feelings. So this makes your day. Could be a person from the past, Six of Cups. What is the Six of Cups? Knight of Coin, Earth Energy. Somebody very, or somebody very loyal, or an offer of money. Um, or a job offer, something linked to money. What is the Four of Swords? Queen of Coin, Capricorn Energy. And then we have here a Six of Swords, wanting peace. Somebody is could be not talking to you because they want peace in their life. They just want, they want things to be peaceful. What is the Knight of Cups? Wow, the devil. Could be Capricorn. Could be someone very tempting. Could be somebody where they 
want to manipulate or maneuver. Okay. So we have here a five of pentacles. Somebody wants to reach out to you. They want to connect with you. They're like, please talk to me or something. The four of coin is what it came out with. So you might be not wanting to share any information with them. Your energy though is either very content or you're having celebrations. You're having good times, happiness. Okay, so what is this Ten of Coin coming in for Aries? Why is it here? Page of Wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Receiving a message from this person. What is the Page of Rods? Three of Rods. Waiting for the ship to come in. Could be somebody who ignored you before. <laughs> Nine of coin, earth energy that's very independent. Okay, so what is the knight of cups and the devil? Ace of swords, you get new information, new communication, clarity and truth about a person. Ace of fire, it's exciting, it's new, it's tempting. What is the Nine of Cups? Temperance could be Sagittarius and the Hermit. Could be somebody very spiritual. Ace of Coin, somebody who wants a new beginning with you, but it could also be related to money. Um, you could literally just be sort, <coughs> sort of enjoying your day hermit the hermit is a wise sage but it can be an expert but usually it's somebody who's kind of like a loner it's somebody who will is like somebody who spends a lot of time learning like a prophet It could be somebody who spends a lot of time alone doing soul searching. And there's temperance here, Sagittarius or patience. There's two aces, ace of rods, ace of swords. The sun shines on something. And there's the king of wands. So what do we have here? Wow, the sun again. Oh, I was going to say, what do we have for the ace of swords? We have the ace of swords and the sun. And the High Priestess. There could be a secret. What is this Ace of Swords? What is the Ace of Swords? Page of Wands. A message from a fire sign. A King of Cups. Somebody's standing up for themselves. Somebody who's very emotional. What is the three of rods? Okay, you've been waiting. Hangman. With the eight of pentacles. What is the sun here? So it's a coin. So somebody's going to reach out to you and balance the scales. Earth energy. Reward you. This could be some kind of reward you've been waiting for or an earth sign. Somebody who's going to reach out. What is the Six of Pentacles? Seven of Cups and the Page of Swords. Somebody who has been watching you. Six of Swords could be somebody returning. So there's these aces with the sun. And somebody who wants to reach out to you. It could be that they're lonely. Somebody with the hermit and the temperance. They're lonely. They want to reach out. It makes you happy. I mean, in a way, you're, it's the sun card. That's great. 
And the six of coin, that's like somebody wants to give you something. They want to be charitable. Gossip with the cloves. Aphrodisiac with chocolate. Purpose, a new sense of purpose, patchouli oil. And recovery, arnica, healing. Somebody's gonna help you heal or, or vice versa, expulsion. And breathe so something is gonna lighten the load for you all right Aries thank you so much for watching my channel uh, please check out my website starseed1111.com to check out my jewelry I really appreciate it or my services thank you and take care